So welcome to this video in which I will be breaking down this editing style of a channel called Thinkit. Thinkit, I think. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I was getting a lot of requests to edit, to show how to edit something from this channel. So I decided, you know what, let's let's do this. So, and and I think the this is uh, an Indian channel, so the content is in. Hindi. So right now I'm just going to play this specific video from his channel called Why Xiaomi is Falling. And uh, I will mute the audio because I'm just focusing on the editing. So let me just play this. Uh, okay, so right here I found something. Uh, right here, let's try to make something like this. Right here. So as you can see, like this guy comes in. And they ha he has this like a uh, logo of the company in the background, and then it just changes into a building. Then we have some text. So yeah, I think let's try something like this. So let's do that. So in order to get something like this, of course, I will need to get the right assets. And for this one, I don't think it will be very hard to find because it's just the image of the person. We can literally find this. We can find the logo as well. And we can make the background right individual as well. And text too. So right now, I'll just uh, go ahead and find the right assets for this. And then I will get back and we will start editing individual as well. Okay, so I went ahead and added some assets to DaVinci Resolve and you can find these from the link in the description. So go ahead, download this and come back in DaVinci Resolve. Make sure you import them and create a new timeline. I'm just going with the default settings so you don't have to worry about this. And the first thing is a fusion composition. So I'm just going to use a default fusion composition because right now we're just doing like a simple effect, nothing too fancy. I just want to show you the editing style of this channel. So let's go ahead, drag in a background and also press control space, search for grid. Use this grid right here, the one that, uh, above the grid warp and then connect this with the media out. So now you can see we have that background already, kind of looks like it, but we still need to make some adjustments. So over here, we're going to make some adjustments. Let's go ahead and change the major line spacing to zero. And now let's go ahead and increase this. So you can just use zoom to increase this right here and now let's go over with the white color and let's just reduce this a little bit so that our background is not that prominent okay now make sure you select your grid press control space and search for radial radial blur and you don't have to do too much just make sure that it's a little bit blur so maybe somewhere around 0 0.2. And now you can already see we have that background already. So we're done with the background. Now we can start to add some animations with our images. So right now, select your radial blur and click on multi-merge. And then bring in this Xiaomi logo first and connect this right here. So this is how it looks. And now let's bring in the boss man and connect this with the multi-merge. Go over to the multi-merge and over here, I'm just going to rename this. So this one is the logo and this one is the boss man. And I'm also going to add this. Well, actually, let us let me just first animate this and we will add the headquarters later on. Go over to the multi-merge and we're going to increase the size of the boss man. And make sure that this covers the whole screen move this down a little bit actually let's go with 1.2 and move him like right here in the center now select your logo and then just move this slightly up upwards something like this okay and now i'm going to show you something that the style that we saw from the channel uses uses a lot and that is the movement of these images. So for this, just click on this. Let's first of all click on this uh, logo and press control space and search for shake. So make sure you select this camera shake, not this one, only this one. 
and click on add and if i play this you will see that there is a movement in the logo and do the same thing for this one as well this image of the boss man do the same thing and now you will see that it moves like quite the same at the same speed or the same pace but we need to make some adjustment for that you can just go over with the second camera shake like I said, let's say and change the motion scale or reduce it something like this and if you play this so you can see that it moves a little bit at a good pace now let's do the same thing for this camera shake as well and let's reduce it even further so something like this so here you can see we have that style that this animation was that the channel was using and now we can start to bring in the building as well and again we can use the camera shake on this one as well now the reason why i'm using different camera shake although we can use the same camera shake is that we need to have different pace of the shape for each asset that we add and that was the thing that we saw in the channel and let me just break this one beneath all of these and just type in like headquarter rename this to headquarter and this will come in later on so i'm just going to hide this for now so let's see like let's bring in the boss man right here at 20 so let's go over to the boss man click on center and go back to zero and then move him right here actually let's move him up let's move him like somewhere around here so you will see that it looks like a smooth animation and we're also going to do some uh, changes with the size so make sure you create a keyframe at size at 1.2 and then change this to let's say one so something like this now let's go over to spline make sure you select the keyframe of the displacement for the boss man and select s make sure you select the keyframes and hit s on the keyboard and now we're going to do the same thing for this layer as well which is the size so both size and the displacement make sure to ease them in by going over to spline okay and now we're going to bring in the logo so go over to the logo create a keyframe at center at 40 frames make sure this is at 40 and then right here at 15 let's move this down so you can use this y right here to move this down then go over to spline and make sure you select the logo displacement now and select these keyframes and hit s on the keyboard so there you go we have this animation coming in now perfect and now we can bring in the building so the headquarters we can build in bring this in and for this there was some sort of a transition but i will just do it on my own whatever comes to mind let's just do it so for this i'm going to bring in let's say a rectangle maybe and connect this with the media n2 actually media n1 because that's the logo and let me just resize this a little bit and so right here we're going to create a keyframe at maybe 50 so let's create a keyframe at 50 at width and the height and let's go over at 70 actually let's go over at 60 and decrease this like this and we're also going to change the soft edge a little bit so if i play this right now this is how it will look make sure this is not too much just a little bit and right here we're going to also bring in the animation the building the headquarter building from beneath it so we're going to do the same thing but in the opposite direction now so first of all just make sure you increase this and go over at 60 frames create keyframes for the width and the height and then go back to 50 and change them and again do the same thing just add a little bit soft edge so here you can see a nice looking transition that you get by the way you will notice one thing that when it comes to the masking it is actually ruining our 
shake because it's going outside the screen now and we don't want that so what we can do here is so one way of coping with this is go over to the camera shake of this building and from here just change the tilt amplitude and this won't shake up down it will just go from left to right so that's something that can work but again you will notice that now this messes up from this side so you can just go ahead and reduce this one a little bit as well somewhere around here so something like this and make sure to increase the soft edge as well so you can go all the way to 0 0.2 and now it will look like it will look a little bit natural now okay so this looks better than before and now what we can do is just add a text so you can go ahead add this text connect this with the multi merge and from here let's just type in let's say billions i guess and the font let's just stick with open sans for now and go over to the shading and this time go go ahead and select this too and this will enable an outline for us so make sure you click on this enable go over to color change this to let's say black and go ahead and change the thickness so make sure that this is like 0 0.1 somewhere around here and move this somewhere around here so something like this and now we can just reveal this text and in order to do that let's also add a mask for this text as well make sure you increase the width and the height and actually let me just reduce this and move this right here or a better way to do that is let's just remove the rectangle and add in this polygon connect this with the text and right here i'm just going to add this So make sure that you add like something like this, create a polygon surrounding the boss man. And what you can do here is to move the text in from this. So right now you need to go over to the polygon and click on invert. And now select your text and right here at 80, go ahead and create keyframes at layout over at center. Now go back to let's say 60 and move this right here. So if you play this, this is how it will look. Actually, let's go over at 70 and then move this right here. And I'm going to remove the keyframe at 60. So if you play this now, this is how it looks. And again, just make sure you increase the soft edge for the polygon as well. Something like this. So there you have it. This was the breakdown of this editing style from the channel called Thinkit and I hope you will find this video useful because I broke down just one effect from it but you get the point. Now you can just move, go ahead and add more assets to it, just move around, add some transitions. By the way when it comes to transition you can simply just go over to video transitions and add some transitions from here. So for example let me let me just say that if I duplicate this then let's just add this blur dissolve and if i play this see so just imagine that there was another uh, you can say a different animation a different fusion composition and you just added some transition between them so this is how you can create something similar to that editing style that we saw from that channel and again this is it this is the end of the video i hope you will find this video useful and i will see you in the next one